Hello everybody and welcome to part 19 of my Salty Shaka series. Uh, before we get underway, there's going to be a bit of a shift. Uh, one of my problems in playing Civ 5 is shifting at the meta level. And this is a good example of it as well as an example of why I like to do half hour segments and then reevaluate. Uh, what I'm getting at is we've been having these human monuments hanging around uh, for some time now and that was, it was, it's been good. Okay, but um, we're past all of our cultural milestones for the time being. Obviously, we want to get to an ideology as well. Um, but we hit medieval, we hit rash, uh, renaissance. And so we don't actually need the culture boost right now. At least not as much as what we need is representation in Athens. I had identified earlier that uh, France's military is significant. And keep in mind, ours is more significant, but we're spread out all over the world. His is more concise. So um, what I did in response originally is say, oh, let's throw a third MP in here. And that might not be good enough. Um, he's already conquered this city, so he's taking steps towards us. And um, our primary army will probably push into Poland. And I actually think going for Maya after that, the Mayans after that, is uh, worthwhile. So basically what I'm getting at is I think uh, we might have this guy push forward uh, one turn and we can clear this camp up, but I think it's probably time to start moving these guys towards Athens. And my justification for this is that um, the shifting that I was referencing, you know, we've already got universities up, we're about to have workshops up everywhere, so uh, basically our three primary cities are going to be ma uh, making units. So they can backfill the absence left. And yeah, we're mostly focusing on MPs, uh, but at the same time, as far as establishing some forces here, we would want a good mix of MPs and uh, crossbows. So that being said, I would like to start moving everybody uh, over there. Um, unfortunately, the uh, because I had taken out the stem here and I didn't put in a stem here like I should have. Uh, this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, Runty we will leave at home, say in Beijing, uh, simply because this is a city that we're not producing units in. But everybody else needs to start uh, heading that way and then we can backfill as needed. And as we go along the way like here, I'll just, you know, take one hex shy so that we get a human monument for a turn and go from there and then the other thing that I wanted to address before we passed our turn is it looked like we had a worker finishing up marble so now we have duplicate marble we have opportunity for getting more gold per turn so hopefully that makes sense and uh, we can do a quick count um, with the personnel we already had over here we were having three MPs and one uh, crossbow over here. We are currently adding two crossbows, three, four, five. We're going to have five, six crossbows. Um, that's probably too much. So what we'll probably do is gather here and then we will have at least one head over to America uh, because that was our intent before. And um, this city had pre-built a crossbow before so we'll have this do a crossbow probably for like home defense and then we'll just do MPs as needed. Um, speaking of which I didn't count that up. This guy can join the fun after he heals one turn so there's one here's two so that'll be five MPs um, and that's pretty good. We're not gonna do Runty because he's just inferior and another thing reason for doing this is we already know the world is up to long swordsmen um, France is no scientific slouch so if America had it we know France has at least access to them and their military score has been shooting up in a pronounced fashion which suggests to me the upgrading to uh, long swordsmen and one-on-one -on -one, long swordsmen versus MP is not great for us especially on defense so we need multiple MPs that can gang up and heal up um, so just having MP sitting by is not good enough. We need to uh, keep pushing the initiative. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so in this city we are working a pure production tile, so I would rather 
uh, slot it into a workshop. Yeah, we're giving up to gold, um, but our long-term goal is not only to get scientific theory, and then we'll probably come into industrialization both for Gatling guns and to have a shot at uh, ideology, and then from there we'll be focusing on getting into rifling because we have a ton of MPs, and we're going to be producing more as we go. Uh, in this city, like I said, we had already uh, pre-built a crossbow, so I think we'll just do a crossbow here while we are because we are dumping everything to the west for the most part we're gonna do a little bit of backfilling uh, which means if camps spawn up for the moment we're gonna be a little vulnerable we're just gonna have to backfill that um, because right now I think <laughs> it, it, the other thing I forgot to mention is not only did France come at us but I mean uh, we're about to capture another city we're about to declare war on another civ like there's going to come a point where France is like I'm the only one that can stop this let's go and this is obviously going to be the point of contention. So that is why I think um, I'm actually a little late in saying, okay, we're done with the uh, human monument. Let's stock Athens up. I know I had referenced it a couple times, but as you can see, uh, haven't really been taking it seriously. So let's just uh, do that. And then hopefully if France decides to get froggy, we can... Uh, uh, better prepared for that. Okay, so um, somehow we've met this sieve. It's the same color. I'm going to assume it's the same city-state, and we were able to threaten it. Okay. Um, I was looking at ending up in the deer tile from what we could see, but this works too, since that guy's being dangled. I wonder how we're actually threatening it, though, as far as the tribute goes, because kind of looks 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, these are the only two units we have nearby. Okay. Well, I think that makes it clear that we don't need to scout any further here. So we'll just come back here and we'll address this uh, camp. Okay, this guy's coming down to do up this uh, just because. Um, and that's the other thing I forgot to mention is what we'll, what I was thinking about is we'll probably do um, once we have all the worker situations set up over here, we can basically have one of them come back. We already have this guy coming back. Um, I think building the road between Athens and Beijing is probably going to be a good idea. I had pre-built up to, I think, right about here, but just one turn per tile, so not much. Um, I should have built a stem through here, because we've been dumping everybody to the west, and this uh, expedites that significantly. Um, but yeah, because from everything, now that we're kind of done in the north, everything is going to be like real west, right? So yeah, it's beyond time to get that road up. Uh, it's going to be a little costly. Um, it is looking like uh, we're going to have one more filler policy before ideology, and I'm thinking wagon trains will actually make sense. Obviously, we would like to get these going, but you know, there's going to be ways of picking up free policies along the way, um, and we are getting like great works and stuff. So the l temporary loss of human monuments should not be uh, the end of the world. Um, but let us go ahead and address this as best as we can. Uh, this guy can get across the river like so. He gets across the river. Um, let's see. Where would this guy end up? Here. That's good enough. Um, here. Okay. We just got to kind of try and stagger that a little bit. Um, he wants to go as far forward along the road as possible. He can actually stop off here, and then he's healing in place one turn. Okay, so, yeah, we'll have a unit up here in three turns, a unit up here in two turns, and uh, he'll be going into the west. So this might be the point where the ones being manufactured are the backfillers. Uh, should be uh, good to go, I think. All right, pillage here. We already sent the caravan off. It's uh, going to be to the outside of Ify, so we want our remaining efforts to like pillage, step pillage, step step pillage, and get back home as quickly as possible. Um, I mean, it would be nice if France did attack us, uh, but we're not prepared at this point, so that's mostly what I'm trying to focus on here. Oh, oh, apparently, uh, we never did the embassies after he re-denounced us. I was not aware. That is not one of the things I keep track of. Okay, so you get started there. 
You get started here. Um, we should probably address this because this is the turn that we're going to be making peace with America. So let's go stomp this out for the gold. And that way when we inherit Atlanta, assuming he's still game for that, uh, we will not be tricked into thinking we have duplicate luxuries. And then over here, can we kill this guy in one turn? Eh, probably not, but... Now this guy finishes up. Okay, a little bit more gold. Yeah, that puts damages on a couple more units, but uh, we need time for our archers to get into position for the war against Poland. Um, so, yes, I do believe that's everything we need from him, so let's well, see. Okay, he is still willing to give us Atlanta. You were saying the alternative is 200 gold. I just don't think that's enough. Um, Atlanta takes another city from him, uh, gives us a bigger step into Poland, um, and we do have the happiness to absorb this extra city and burn it to the ground, so let's just do that. Um, we will say raise, and we will sell off. Whoa, this is a great work. <laughs> oh, why would he do that? Does Philadelphia not have an amphitheater? Like, why would, why would he be willing to do that? I don't know, but Atlanta is in resistance, as is Washington, so let's just throw it in Berlin for now. Um, we have our own Great Raider coming in four. That'll probably go in Washington. It'll probably still be in resistance at that point, so we won't get immediate benefit, but uh, that's real interesting to see. Atlanta has marble. That's not true. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's about, but okay. All right, so this American city is gone, and we are now free to say, go along the road, pillage, go along the road, pillage. Uh, this guy pillages, hops onto the road. Next turn, he'll pillage this and keep going. And there we go. We had two uh, damaged units pillaging the remaining developed tiles, so they'll be able to get back in the game immediately, which is very good. All right, so we'll just head west. There was this camp here, and apparently there's other units too. So we will try and adjust, address that as we go. Uh, get some scouting in, north and south. Just try to figure out where his other cities are. Uh, looks like he's got four total. Um, don't know where they are yet, but uh, we have scouts to the south and to the west of our overall push. So uh, we should at least get the ones closest in our sights to get an idea of where that's at. <sighs> Let's see, as far as the archers, we have two on the road, one behind the other, and two that are off the road, so this should prove to be a very non-traffic jam scenario, which is good. Um, it's probably worth taking one worker with us, right? Um, yes, Washington is populous, but uh, we're repairing some river farms here. Uh, we can get the resources improve, improve this cattle perhaps. Um, it'll take two workers a bit of time, but um, I think one of the biggest mistakes I've made in this run is the delegation of workers. Uh, at one point we had deleted, and there's been a lot of back and forth as far as keeping them heavy on the front lines, so I think in the future I would uh, like to keep them nearby more. I should have looked into the great general first, because uh, they're more important, but uh, there's no overlap here, so that works out just fine. He's going to heal up. In fact, that is the one we had labeled America, so the fact that he's in the city tile is not bad. And it also looks like I chose Drill ahead of Medic by accident, uh, both in theory and in practice, because I think one thing this series has proven is that the choice to go with Medic for our little mini carpet has been very fruitful. Okay, Berlin demands dyes. That's a shame because we, we just pillaged a source of dyes. And we made peace. If we hadn't made peace, we could have had a great general drop here and pick up a couple things here. Eh. That might have been worthwhile. Hmm. Lost opportunity. I mean, we could still seize the dyes. 
Um, but it would just be for Berlin, so that's not terribly important. It's a puppet. Speaking of puppets, this tile would be more important than this one because of the non-puppet <laughs> status. So let's hop over there and get started on that ahead of this, which is actually interesting because this is already delayed. Okay, so this is an example of <clears throat> what I was talking about. We're actually a little vulnerable here, especially when you consider that once this guy is done here, he'll be hopping up here. So I do think the first impy that comes out should probably check on that, or we can wait until the impy and uh, the crossbowman can tag team it. Um, it's not going to hurt to have the MP at least scout. Well, I guess the hurt, quote unquote, would be that we lose the human monument in the interim. Um, I don't see that as being especially problematic. You know what? I should have moved him in here and done his healing in the city tile because we would have had the human monument for two turns as well as been completely healed. Another lost opportunity. No big deal. Alright, so we're just getting these guys west as fast as we can. Uh, it's already starting to look like uh, we're making good time as far as that goes. So, no worries. Uh, we do have a little bit of a two-lane situation going on here. Uh, yeah, I should have moved him in to the city tile. Yep, lost opportunity. Okay, trade route established for Ify. Valletta targets nearby encampment. And Cape Town desires Coco. Well, we're about to get Coco, so that's nice. Cape Town's already our ally, so that'll extend that further. Uh, where is this camp that they want? Oh, this is probably the one we're about to stomp anyways. That's fantastic. Okay. Alright, so uh, let's have this guy finish the copper, and this guy finish his farm. Now we have extra copper, so let's go ahead and sell that off for the gold. Hey, we're breaking even on GPT, ain't that something? Right. So we'll have this guy go around, this guy go through, because the spacing of the hills kind of mandates that approach to some extent. Um, something like so. Uh, this great general not clear. I kind of want to tackle the farm ahead of this, not only because the civilian prize is of greater value, but also because that makes our scout who's coming through uh, safer. So what we'll do in that vein is bring the scout here to add to the flanking capabilities of what we're about to do. We'll go like this. We'll, we'll move. Uh, is there a difference between these two? Uh, it does not appear to be. They have the exact same amount of promotions. Um, so we'll get one into position, another one. Um, oh, this guy needs the experience more. So we'll do him first because it might... Okay, I was thinking it might end up in a situation where the spear throw does the killing, but that's not the case. Okay. And these two can just spend the time healing while the archers catch up. We'll, we'll still have to probably address this. But now this guy can come here on the hill. And we're starting to see eyes on at least one more of the cities, which is nice. Oh, I sh Okay, I was going to say I should have cut through here, but you know what? If we end up on this hill, it looks like we get the same. Okay, so that, that worked out. Another missed opportunity. I better slow down, huh? All right, we will sell there. Uh, we got to choose a construction project. Always going to be a monument. And uh, we're seeing some units down here as well. So this is a good spread of MPs. Um, we should probably get our denounce on, huh? Just to... Uh, we're actually so hated at this point that it's not even all that important that we denounce first. But with, like, civilians dangling and, you know, units away from where they're strong, the ability to just attack on, di on a dime seems like it would be quite valuable. Okay, little bit of traffic jam here. Wow, look at that reach. Nice. Okay, a little bit of traffic jam here, but uh, these guys are faster anyway, so that's to be expected. He's healing, and it's nice that this guy is a medic. In fact, since this guy's as damaged as he is, we should probably plan on him being the human monument here. Um, so what we can do... 
because these guys are all medics. Let's do something like this. That way they're all helping each other heal. These two will spend next turn just healing. Everybody's helping everybody else. Well, except for this guy. He's not a medic yet, but... Uh, yeah, we'll get that going. Um, I came down here because obviously this river farm is more important than this. I should have said something at that time. Come over here, step, improve, come up here, improve, then probably, or er, repair, repair, and then probably come over here. Alright, so that's that. Um, yes, so probably the thing to be will be get back on the pre-building of roads here. Um, so yeah, we'll just have this guy. Uh, Polish unit here, so we got to keep that in mind if we do declare an early war, which, as you see, all of our units over here are away, making that not as much of an option. All right, let's hop up here. Um, not bad. Not bad. Let's step here and just sit, because then next turn he can stop. We get our flank. It's probably going to be one turn at that point. Okay, we get to drop this guy here. So 65 gold to buy that tile. 219 science. Work that tile. And bam, that's plus 16. 100% modifiers in this city at this point. Probably uh, National College plus University. Yep, so we'll get started here. Uh, slowly but surely, we will uh, convert Geneva. Um, right around the time that we're, we're going to lose them as an ally, we're going to reinforce them as an ally. That is great. So let's uh, focus the camera here as a reminder that we have one more building to burn down in Atlanta. Oh, you know what? I totally meant to uh, denounce Poland last turn. So we should do that now. Um, let me see where that camp is first. So we've sell off this building. That's great. We don't even have to pay attention to Atlanta anymore. That's perfect. Uh, this is outside of Berlin, which is an easy sell, relatively speaking. Um, we'll get this guy over here so that he can become human monument. And we'll step this guy here just to get some eyes. All right, we'll see that the archer would be helpful, so we'll step back. All right, this is a new guy, so we can leave him stay put, or we can have him get eyes on this. I think getting eyes makes more sense. Oh yeah, denounce Poland. I don't want to forget that. We'll just do this right now. Um, luckily, it doesn't look like the state of things as we saw it. We would have wanted to attack this turn necessarily. So uh, that's fine that we missed out that opportunity. Uh, speaking of missed opportunities, let's not miss this one. Okay. So... There was a swordsman. I don't know why he's just sitting there, but that's okay. Um, let's see, he needs to heal more than he does. Can we just kill that? Looks like it. Yeah, all right, so take that. Oh, this prophet only has three charges. He is of no use to us. Bye-bye. Okay, so he can heal this turn. Or better yet, let's... Yeah, heal this turn. No. We have to take at some point to heal these guys up. Um, Alright, we know this is happening. We know this is happening. We know that's happening. Uh, we know that's happening. And we know that's happening. Okay. So what we should do is the southern guy will have him come down through here since there are units this way. And then this guy can come in here, which will allow him to hop up here next turn. Nobody else is going to be needing that. Um, let's see. Our main forces will be clearing through here, so let's take a wider angle on the scout. Good, we get eyes on an actual city tile. That's good to know. Uh, borders coming up through here, so we'll probably come up here next turn with this guy. Take a peek. Um, I, I'm thinking I kind of want to push forward here because it gets us a good visibility spread and it gets us a unit ahead of the Great General. So I'm thinking maybe the Great General moves here next turn. We use him to heal while he, this guy gets into position. We let medics comp complement one another. Something to that effect. Uh, here, there's no way we can be unseen by this unless we retreat to here. I don't know how necessary that is. He's got this unit here and this unit here, so he can kind of see what's going on. I mean, the world hates us, so we can totally lie about our 
incoming war efforts, but if we can avoid that, let's just try to. I don't think we still have lots of units to, you know, coming in from behind. So it's not like we need our frontline people to get there right now and be on it right now kind of thing. All right, another MP. This one's only going to take two turns. I'm assuming that means that when the uh, academy was dropped, the forest counted as chopped production for the city because two turns at this point seems kind of nutty in a good way. I like it. Uh, this guy can reach all the way to here, so we'll go for it. No. Um, Athens is due west, so coming across this way makes more sense, if possible. We didn't do it with these guys because there was a traffic jam, so we will use, even though it's only two hexes, next turn we'll, we'll cross there. Uh, this guy's going to come, let's just come here to stay on the human monument thing. We'll come up here next turn and go from there. Kind of gets us a little closer, but not really. All right, we can see this guy healed wonderfully because he had three medics around him. We'll do this like so. Uh, you get on that tile, and then you get on that tile. Uh, we already have iron that we're not being sold. It could be imported, though, so I'm not going to call it strictly that. Uh, we'll come here, and we'll probably get started. We'll probably do full pre-building roads, two tiles instead of just one. I think we have one tile all the way up to here, maybe here. I don't know. I know by the time we had our worker getting through here, it was time to just get into Athens. So we didn't quite stick through it all the way. And there we go. This guy's done pillaging. We can get up here, which is nice because there's a horseman buzzing about, probably for the purpose of protecting that missionary. Okay, so this looks like it's going to take a extra turn. Yeah, there we go. I'm glad to see that went just like that. Okay. So we'll have this guy in the position here. All right, so we should be able to address that horseman uh, soon, like uh, this turn, hopefully, if it comes to that. Uh, we no longer need to keep eyes on Atlanta, so I'd rather keep my eyes down here because if that horseman shows up, I want to know about it. Uh, we know the missionary's there. We can just steal it for free. Uh, we actually like the religion that's on Athens, and we don't want a religion interrupting our homeland. So this might be the turn that we declare the war. All right, is this enough to kill him? Uh, it's going to be close, but with the spear toss we have a chance, so it worked out nice. So now these guys can retreat, get back into Athens. Uh, it really is starting to look like Athens is going to be uh, safe. Okay, so let's take a look at all of this. Uh, new person here. Borders grow up there. Not a priority. Yulundi demands cocoa. We are about to get on top of that. Yulundi has also grown. Uh, growth in six. Growth in five. So we'll just continue doing it that way. Uh, public okay. Bismarck has entered Renaissance. All right. Now, because of the distribution of units, um, I'm okay with using MPs as human monuments. Uh, they're worth more and they cost less. Um, so let's see, this guy's going off to check out the camp. And um, when this guy comes out, he will be also. We have a new one coming out here next turn, and we've got this guy here. Uh, so we'll move here so we can be a human monument. It's just a question of do we want another MP or should we get a second? Uh, we're gonna have one, two, three MPs here, one composite bowman. So yeah, maybe one more composite bowman. Um, crossbow, I I'm doing it again. Okay, <laughs> duplicates there, just whales. None of them are natural, so. All right, if there's room to step up here and proselytize. It is not enough. All right, so here in Berlin we can uh, go like so. Um, there's no reason to actually get in the way of this. It's not a mounted unit that can reach. So we'll just do like this. Uh, this worker is finished on the river farm, which is not even being used. There's that. Okay. So, yeah, these two can get to the front lines, and he can become the human monument now. 
Um, I do think it's probably time to declare war. Uh, we have a couple of civilians. Well, maybe not. We need... The civilians aren't... Uh, this civilian down here is relatively important, but we have a whole river of people that can intercept them. So I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't go early just for that. Same thing here. We got a lot of people here and over here. I really don't care what the religion is or is not, so I'm not too worried about that. What I am worried about is the scouts getting into safe places, so at least this way... All right, we get eyes on yet another city tile. And here we can kind of maybe hug uh, France, um, but I don't know about that because, like I said, as, as we attack more and more, he's the one that's got the has reason to believe that he's got the military to stop us. So the more we piss off the world, the more likely I think France will try to attack Athens. Um, hopefully that changes with the. Uh, uh, Units were stockpiling there, but at the same time, if he did attack us, it would actually be good for our faith gain because we just try and kill a bunch of units within four tiles of the city. Okay, let's uh, move these civilians about. Um, he's just going to heal in place, which means this guy who is double medic comes here. Um, we do have a guy kind of to the south, so I'll move this great general down this way. And this great general here. Um, it's actually good that we're at the half hour mark coming up here because this little like wall, um, I'd really think I would really like to be able to take the time to look at it and see, you know, what's the best plan of approach here. Um, so that works out nicely. All right. So these guys want to get to the front line. Oh, whoops! You know what? I was just thinking that I should have. Uh, double check that. Okay. Um, we can come up through here, like so. We got a representation in the south. We got the civilian here. We got representation in the north now. He becomes the human monument in Washington. And all these guys across the river. Across the river. One of these guys should be named America. I don't think we ever got around to that, did we? Um, there's America. Okay. It's not particularly important which one it is. In fact, it should be the last one. So let's just go ahead and make that swap right now uh, so I don't confuse myself moving forward. All right. This is better. Okay. Um, we'll come down this way just for visibility's sake. All right, there we go. And then he's crossing right behind. So that should work out. Now this guy is going to come down here, and we will start building a road due east. It's kind of nice that those two cities are on the same latitude. Um, we will try to figure out something as far as getting somebody slotted in down here just to keep eyes on, like, hop on a hill, keep eyes around here, keep this safe. Um, let's see. He's coming out next turn. Oh, he's only got par partial movement left. Okay, so there we go. This is the half hour mark, so I'm going to call it here. Uh, uh, please share with me your thoughts about this shift as far as stocking Athens. I'm of the opinion that it's a little late. Um, as the workshop started getting up in our two cities, we should have started getting more lax with the human monument policy, stocking up in Athens a little bit more proactively, or like saving that manpower to go take Jakarta. Because it really doesn't matter if Athens falls, other than the fact that France does have a great wall, and this kind of is like something of a stepping stone into the west. So it'd be nice to keep it, but even if we lost it, no big deal. Um, so I kind of wish I had given this higher priority sooner, especially since I had units running off, pillaging tiles, chasing after camps. But it is starting to look like even if something was to go sideways here, uh, we'd have it under control. So hopefully... That's good enough, um, but let me know your thoughts. Please leave a like if you feel I've earned it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next part. Take care.